We're once again here in the THP Tech Studio. Uh, we're going to do a video today that's a little bit near to my heart. It's something that I've traveled with over the last couple of years, trying to find the perfect ball for my game. I'm a high spin guy overall. I put a pretty good move in terms of speed on the golf ball. I've always been looking for something that reduces spin and mostly because I hit the ball high, I hit the ball with a lot of spin and it means my enjoyment of the game gets reduced a little bit when we play in things like wind and uh, it's something I've just, I've really wanted to isolate and find the right ball. Now this year uh, I, I decided to go full on with the Tour B RX from Bridgestone and I've been finding incredible numbers overall, big distance, really interesting stuff there. And I wanted to know why. And the nice thing about the THP Tech Studio is we have product here that we can run against each other and help me to fit into the perfect product for my game. Uh, what does that mean? That means right now in my hands, as you can see, I've got two balls. First of all, the Bridgestone Tour B RX, which is what I've been playing, and the Titleist Pro V1X, which everyone out there knows about and probably loves. Now, this isn't about what fits your game. This is about what fits my game. My goal here is to tell you the what's and the why's of what works for me and to help you understand that it might not be the ball that uh, you buy off the shelf that works best for your game. And the best chance you have to do that, try balls, get a better understanding of what they can do and take it out there and hit it for yourself. So maybe you're asking why these two balls? Well, I think it's a perfect opportunity to compare two distinctly different golf balls from a compression standpoint. Now, both Titleist and Bridgestone make excellent golf balls. There's no question about that. What makes them unique? Well, the Bridgestone Tour B RX has a very nice compression number versus the Pro V1X, which really works on performance ball speed. Why did I choose these two? Well, they're two balls I've spent some time with over the last year, and I wanted to showcase the difference, specifically probably with the seven and maybe four iron today, and help you understand what makes a difference for my game. All right, so the first group of five we'll hit is the Bridgestone Tour B RX. I'm using my seven iron. Hit that pretty good, not perfect. Uh, obviously hit a good number. I'm, I'm typically in that 185, 190 range with a seven iron. First thing I want you to notice on the board here is 5,700 RPMs of spin with a peak height of 43 yards. As we move into our second shot. Might be going a little bit right as well, a little bit higher. Uh, I got more ball on the face that time. Landing almost in the same spot. Nice little representation of control as there were two slightly different swings. Spin is very, very close, as you'll see on the screen coming up here. Fifty-five hundred RPMs, a little bit higher, as I mentioned, at forty-six yards of peak height. Got after that one a little bit. Shut the head down, which means the spin's gonna be probably a little less, maybe not, because I compressed that a little bit better. Uh, first thing I wanna really mention after three swings, we're all in the green. Uh, it's not the smallest green out there, but for those hitting from 190 yards, obviously your goal is to hit the flat surface and have a putt at the hole. Seen a lot of similarities in the overall numbers here. And this will be a nice example of a miss hit with the Bridgestone Tour B RX. Thin on the face, a little bit open. Traditionally speaking, that is a lot of spin for me. A little bit short of the green, so obviously lost some distance. As I would expect, I'm playing a player CB iron, not particularly forgiving, but surprisingly enough, the spin is very consistent. A little bit lower on the launch, which makes a lot of sense. 
We'll hit one more here. And again, going a little bit right. First missed green of the day. That's okay. A couple missed shots in there. Uh, wrapping up really quickly on the Tour B RX. As you can see, spin numbers are very consistent across the board. That is something I am very serious about as someone who's looking for a product uh, from a golf ball standpoint. A little bit higher there, not surprising. But again, under 6,000 of the seven iron is exactly where I want to be. Let's move into the uh, Titleist Pro V1X. Let's see what kind of numbers we get. So now we're switching to the Titleist Pro V1X, a golf ball a lot of us are familiar with. Let's see the difference. Starting off with a little bit of a thin shot, not a ton. I think what you'll be surprised to see once the video actually pops up is the difference. And I want you to notice two things as I've noticed personally, as I've already done this test a little bit. I want you to take a look at the overall height. And I also want you to take a look at the spin. 7,000 RPMs of spin with a peak height of 40. As I had mentioned previously, I think Pro V1X launch is a little lower for me. What's surprising to me is the overall spin. We're talking about a significant increase just by changing the ball. I hit that well, little fadey. Means I left the face open a little bit. I think this is gonna really open up the visualization on spin. Carry 175, this is actually a number I, I used to be very familiar with my, with my seven iron. As you can see, we're upwards of 7,300 RPMs of spin. Uh, Piquet went a little bit higher. I think that has to do a lot with opening the face up. Let's see if I can square one up for you. And another little bit thin. I think this once again is really gonna open up the spin numbers overall. Looks like total carry is 173. And the spin is actually just a little bit under 7,000, which surprises me, but that's, that's fine. Let's move into our fourth shot here. And I really scored that one up nicely. This will be a nice representation of a well-struck shot, not chasing lower end of the head a little bit. Numbers are definitely closer to what we were anticipating before, but still a little bit different when you take an overall look. So we're at 43 yards of peak height. Spin drop down to about 6,500. Gives us a chance for one more good swing at this one, the Pro V1X. That's a well-struck shot there. Little fade off the line. Might be hard to see. The groupings are a little bit shorter with Pro V1X. Once again, the spin is very close to 6,900 yards. I think the best thing to do now, as the uh, table populates a little bit, let's go take a look at the overall numbers and see he uh, ball to ball what's different. So welcome to the table view of both shots, or both balls. Uh, Tour B on the top here, Tour B RX on the top here, Pro V1X on the bottom. This is the greatest part about this experience. This isn't about me, the golfer. This is about what two balls do when I hit them. And just to represent the difference between, for the most part, compression, uh, we'll start right at launch angle. As I predicted while we were hitting, the Tour B RX goes about a degree higher in launch angle at 20.7 average, 
whereas the Pro V1X is in that 19.5 degree range. Moving on to backspin, which was the most visible story for me starting out, we're looking at 5,600 on average with the Tour B RX, 6882 with the Pro V1X. That's a significant change between the two. Now, personally, my perspective is, if you're a guy who hits the ball really low, maybe needs help with some spin, I think you do like the Pro V1X here. It, it gives you a chance to get some bite on the greens. Now, for me, as I hit the ball relatively high with a peak height of over 40 yards, and descent angle of over 50 degrees, I'm looking at something that serves purpose elsewhere. I feel confident in that 5,600 yards that if I put that into the and most greens, it's gonna land pretty aggressively and stop. And that's where that 51.5 degree descent angle is actually very positive for me. As you can see though, it's quite close with the Pro V1X. So I'm not seeing a distinct difference between the two there. Uh, as we mentioned, peak height 44 versus 41 yards. So I am hitting the ball a little bit higher with RX, but with that reduction of spin, I'm no longer afraid to do that in windy conditions because I am getting significant benefits from that reduced spin. Moving on to carry, this is where my year got very interesting. I could not for the life of me figure out why I was hitting the club or hitting the ball club further. Now in this case, as you can see, two excellent premium golf balls Bridgestone Tour B RX is in that 185 yard average, and that Tour V is at 180 or 176 yard average. Now, even looking down the numbers, very consistent with the Pro V1X, so it's not like there's been any big outliers. If anything, the biggest outlier is in fact with the Tour V RX at 180 at my lowest carry. Now, again, I think this is a, a really nice depiction of what a golf ball does for an individual. For those of you out there, who are unfamiliar with this, I would definitely encourage you to learn about the products, learn about your swing, maybe even get fit for them and see how much a change in a golf ball can improve and better your experience.